If you've ever done a bit of DIY or just stared at a toolbox, you might have noticed something curious. Nails are smooth, while screws have that distinctive spiral pattern. At first glance, they seem like they do the same thing, hold stuff together. So, why the difference? Well, it turns out there's a whole world of science, engineering, and even a little history behind these everyday fasteners. Today, we're digging into the fascinating reason why nails are smooth while screws are spiraled. And trust me, it's way more interesting than it sounds. So grab your tool belt, or at least a cup of coffee, and let's dive in right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. At a glance, both nails and screws do the same job. They hold stuff together. Wood to wood, metal to wood, sometimes even metal to metal. They're fasteners, but the way they do their job is totally different. A nail is basically a smooth metal rod, usually with a sharp tip and a flat head. You drive it in with a hammer, and it stays in mostly because of friction. A screw, on the other hand, has a spiral ridge running around its body. That's the thread. You twist a screw into a material using a screwdriver or drill, and those threads actually pull it deeper as you turn. It's not just jamming itself in like a nail, it's carving a path. So now the question becomes, why do we use two completely different systems for the same purpose? Let's talk nails first. The simplicity of the nail is its superpower. Because nails are smooth, they can be hammered in quickly. There's no need to twist or drill, just a few wax and you're done. This makes nails perfect for projects where speed is important. Think framing a house, roofing, or building fences. In these cases, contractors might drive in thousands of nails in a single day. Also, when a nail goes into wood, it slightly compresses the surrounding fibers. The friction and the tight grip from the surrounding material is what holds the nail in place. But here's the catch. Nails don't have as much holding power as screws. Over time, especially with movement, nails can wiggle loose. That's why you'll sometimes see them start to pop out in old wooden decks or floors. So, nails are great when you need fast assembly, and the structure isn't expected to move or shift a lot over time. Now let's switch gears and look at screws. The spiral design, called the thread, isn't just for show, it serves a very specific and powerful purpose. When you turn a screw into a material, the thread cuts into the fibers, creating a sort of mating groove that matches the screw's path. As the screw turns, it doesn't just go in, it pulls itself in, like a mini drill. This creates a much tighter grip. That's why screws have superior holding strength compared to nails. They're ideal when you want something to stay tight and secure for a long time, like in furniture, cabinetry, electronics, or anything that might face regular movement, stress, or vibration. Also, if you need to remove and reattach a part, like when assembling furniture or fixing a panel, screws are your best friend. Nails, not so much. Once they're in, pulling them out can damage the material. So, in short, that spiral groove isn't just about grip. It's about control, longevity, and strength. Let's talk a bit about the science behind how each fastener handles force. When you hammer a nail in, it goes straight in, right? So when weight or stress is applied perpendicular to the nail, like pulling a board away from a wall, it's not that hard to work it loose. But screws handle this way better. Because of the threads, they resist pull-out force more effectively. It's like trying to pull a corkscrew straight out of a cork without twisting. It's going to fight you all the way. That's the mechanical advantage of the spiral. In fact, if you've ever tried to yank a screw out without a screwdriver, you'll know just how strong that grip is. So, if screws are stronger, why do we still use nails at all? 
Well, like most things in construction and design, it comes down to using the right tool for the right job. Nails are best when speed matters more than long-term grip. They're ideal in situations where the main forces acting on the material are sideways, known as shear forces. You'll also see them used when the structure will be reinforced by other materials later, like in framing, where drywall or paneling will add stability. Screws, on the other hand, shine when you need something to stay tight over time. If there's any chance the part might need to be removed or adjusted, like a shelf bracket or a hinge, screws make that process a lot easier. They're also better for joints that carry weight or face regular movement and stress, because they grip more securely and are less likely to work themselves loose. In fact, many modern construction projects use both. Nails might be used to quickly tack things into place, while screws are added to lock everything down for the long haul. Here's a fun side note. Screws are actually older than nails in terms of design. The concept of the screw thread goes all the way back to ancient Greece. Archimedes used it for a water pump, not as a fastener. But metal screws weren't common until the 15th century, and even then, they were handmade. Nails, on the other hand, have been around since ancient Egypt, and they were much easier to mass-produce. Once we hit the Industrial Revolution, nails became incredibly cheap and fast to make, making them a go-to tool in construction. Screws didn't really become common until the late 19th and early 20th centuries, once machinery made it easy to cut uniform threads. So, Part of the reason nails are smooth is simply because they were easier to make at scale, especially in the early days. Today, the line between nails and screws is starting to blur a little. There are now nail guns that can drive thousands of nails in minutes and deck screws with special coatings to resist rust. Some even have hybrid designs, like ring shank nails, which have tiny ridges to give more holding power, kind of like a screw light. Even the way we design threads on screws has evolved. Wood screws, machine screws, drywall screws. They all have different thread patterns based on what material they're going into and what kind of load they're expected to bear. It's a fastener geek's paradise out there, honestly. So why are nails smooth but screws are spiraled? Because they're solving different problems. Nails rely on speed and simplicity, perfect for quick builds and shear force. Screws, with their spiral threads, offer precision, grip, and strength, making them ideal for long-term durability and structural integrity. And that's the beauty of engineering. Even in something as simple as a nail or a screw, there's deep logic science, and purpose behind the design. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.